Hey year 9, this is exercise 2e, which is on equations with brackets and pronumerals on both sides, and it's on page 101 of your textbook. I'm going to try and keep this video brief, just so that we can quickly go through and understand how we apply our previous understandings in these kinds of questions, but the idea is that you need to have learned the other stuff and then apply that for this stuff. All right? So equations with brackets can be solved by first expanding the brackets, so for example, in this example over here, I've got 3x plus 1, so 3 bracket x plus 1 in, the, in brackets, and that equals to 2. What I can do is I can, I can expand the brackets first. So I expand it, I get 3 times x, which is 3x, and then I add 3 times 1, which is 3, and that equals to 2. I can go ahead and solve that. So right now it's plus 3, so I minus 3 on both sides. Actually, let's do it in a different color. Minus 3, minus 3, remember to on both sides. So minus 3 on both sides, you get 3x equals to 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. I divide both sides by 3, because right now it's times by 3, right? So divide both sides by 3, and I end up with x equals to negative 1 on 3. Okay? Now if that didn't make much sense, and I've gone through it quite quickly, just make sure to pause the video, and then watch it slowly. So, if an equation has pronumerals on both sides, so pronumerals as in letters on both sides, collect them to the one side, and then you do that by adding them, subtracting, and then solve them. That makes your life so much easier, right? So, what I'm going to do in this example over here, I've got 3x plus 4 equals to 2x minus 1. I've got x's on both sides. Let's go ahead and, and add or subtract on one side so that I can get it on a single side. So, here is 2x. We know it's a positive, right? So let's go ahead and do the opposite. We know it's positive 2x, so let's do the opposite, minus 2x. And if I do it on this side, I have to do it on this side as well, minus 2x. And I get 3x minus 2x, and then plus the 4, let's just leave that there for now, equals 2. Now, because that cancels out that, I don't have to write that. I write minus 3, and I end up with 3x minus 2x, which is x plus 4 equals to negative 3. I'm going to go ahead and minus 4 on both sides because, <clears throat> because right now it's plus 4, right? So the opposite is minus 4, minus 4, and I end up with x because these two cancel, out, cancel each other out, right? So x equals to negative 3 minus 4, which means that x equals to negative 7. Let's go ahead and do some examples. So this one is just a lot of practice. There's not really any specific skills besides expanding the brackets and then adding and subtracting. So this first one over here, let's take a look at that. It's two bracket three X minus four bracket equals to 11. So this is A. So I know I have to expand it. So two times three X, which is six X. And then two times negative four, negative. So two times negative four is negative eight. And that equals to 11. Now, I want to try and get x by itself, right? I want to get x equals to blah, blah, blah. So the first thing I want to get rid of is the minus 8. Let's plus 8 on both sides because it's cancelling it out, right? So I go 6x equals 2. Now 11 plus 8 gives me 19. And then I've got 6 times x equals to 19. So let's do the opposite, divided by 6. Because right now it's times 6, right? And then I get x equals 2. 19 divided by 6. And you can just leave it as a fraction or put in your calculator to get a decimal. So that was a. Let's go ahead and look at b. Perfect. All right, b. So the question is 2 bracket x plus 3 bracket minus 4x equals to 8. Let's go ahead and get rid of the brackets first. So 2 times x is be 2x, because remember we're expanding, and then 2 times x is 2x, and then 2 times 3, positive 3, is positive 6, so write plus 6, and then I just write the rest of it. Okay, now 2x minus 4x, so remember we can collect like terms, so 2x minus 4x is be negative 2x, and then I'm going to keep writing plus 6 equals to 8. Then I'm saying that there's a plus 6 here, so let's do the opposite, minus 6, minus 6, and I end up with negative 2x equals to 8 minus 6, which is 2. Now it's negative 2 times by x, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say divided by negative 2, divided by negative 2. Oops. Negative 2. 
and I end up with x equals to 2 divided by negative 2, which is negative 1. So x equals to negative 1. All right, let's go through C. So the question of C is 5x minus 2 equals to 3x minus 4. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move the x's on one side. So that's minus 3x, because right now it's plus 3x, right? So let's do minus 3x and then minus 3x on both sides. 5x minus 3x minus 2 equals to, now th these two cancel each other out, and I get minus 4. So 5x minus 3x equals to 2x. 2x minus 2 equals to 4. That's minus 2. Let's do the opposite, plus 2, plus 2. And I end up with 2x equals to 6. I then go ahead and see that it's 2 times x, so I'm going to divide it by 2, divide it by 2, and I end up with 6 equals to 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Alright, let's do this last one. Once again, feel free to pause the video whenever you'd like, just so that it makes sense. Okay, so 3 bracket 2x plus 4 bracket equals 8 bracket x plus 1. So that's the question. Alright, so that's the one over here. So, let's expand the brackets. So I get 3 times 2x, which is 6x, and then 3 times plus 4, which is plus 12, equals to 8 times 6, uh, so 8 times x, which is 8x, and 8 times 1, which is 8. I'm going to go ahead and move the x's on one side. So I'm going to say minus 8x here, which means that this has to be minus 8x. So 6x minus 8x plus 12 equals to 8. Now I'm going to um, figure out what 6x minus 8x is. Gives me negative 2x. I've still got the plus 12 and the 8 over there. Now since it's plus 12, I'm going to minus 12 on both sides. And I end up with negative 2x equals to 8 minus 12, which is negative 4. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2. Actually, let's do it a different way. You can divide by negative 2. Let's take an extra step. Let's time, divide by negative 1, or times by negative 1, actually, it doesn't really matter. Let's times by negative 1, and I get 2x equals to positive 4, and then I divide both sides by 2, and that gives me x equals to 2. Hopefully that makes sense, so let me know if you have any questions.